ever wondered how much a PhD student on in Germany? Is it enough to live comfortably or can you save some money? So let's break it down how much a PhD student on in Germany. So first, um, let's uh, talk about the different type of PhD in regards to earning. So I would say there are two different types in Germany. One is PhD student is a, um, is a job, like uh, you are recruited as a research associate or research assistant in a university. And then next is a scholarship holder or stipend holder, like you get a stipend from the different institute like DAR or different foundation in Germany. So it's different. So let's, uh, the major of the PhDs recruited in Germany are um, from job point of view like they recruit you as a job for myself i work also as a job i got a contract as a job as well and i'm registered also as a phd student in the university so most of the people are recruited in such a way so let's talk more how much um people can on from the phd so you can see um how you get from the PhD so there's a website in um, German so I'll show you I can also translate with the Google Translator and uh, what are the things here so let's break it down so for this you can go to this website called often liquor Dienst. so here you can find all the state level employment uh, salary so you can go through this so for PhD we fall on the TVL so you should click this where uh, you can see many options so go for the TVL so it's study track for the Nofelinche Dins so let's translate this in English you can see what it called so it's so you can see here um, it's called collective agreement for the civil service of the federal state so as i said um, psd also fall about the civil service um, so let's look how much um, the civil service um, employ employee can earn so let's uh, look at the fee calculator so you can exactly find um, and um, almost the salary it increases like twice a year so you can see the validity there is a validity from 1st of january to 10th uh, like around october and as i said psd falls into like e13 label so you can see let's put the e13 label and all the psd level starts from one so for first year you'll be in level one and for from second year you'd be in level two so level two uh, starts at second year and goes till third year so from fourth year you can be level three so okay let's put the level four and it's a farewell it's an extra pension like for uh, it's a mandatory pension in germany you need to pay um, but there is also an extra pension called bbl farewell which is um, uh, for the um, civil service it's kind of extra pension and you'll get more extra pension after a year is becomes but um, if your contract is three years or less then you can exempt from this as well so it depends on you what you um, wants to do and working hours so as I said there are different working hours uh, you get for PhD like for PhD, some you get 100%, some 60, some 50, and some 67. So in life science, it's almost 60, 65 to 75. So let's put the 67, which I uh, wrote it here. So if there is some allowances, which usually doesn't help. So let's leave that field and let's look at the tax year. So tax year 2025. So tax class, it also depends like what tax class you fall. Like if you're single and married, then you'll fall on tax class one. If you are married, but your wife or your partner is not in the um, uh, country, register in the country, also you'll fall in tax class one. So although there are different tax classes. So if you are, obliged to pay the church tax then you should write otherwise you should not write there so you see that 
And there is also the child allowances. So if you have child, then definitely you have less taxes. So you can also write there. And the health insurance is 17.5%, 0.5%. So uh, this is valid from 1st of, uh, sorry, 1st of February 2025 to 10.31. So it's uh, around um, October. So it's valid till October. So from that time it will increase so let's look at the um, total salary for 67 per, 67 percent uh, of the uh, total time so it's PhD with 67 percent um, um, of your total salary so it's it depends as I told earlier so it's called tiles ad or part-time so here you can see so how much you can earn and how much is the total you are getting so uh, for 67 person you are getting 3101.93 so it's 3100 around so you're but you will receive only 2031.69 euro so here you can see how much you will receive as well so it's uh, like you are getting almost uh, 1000 euro less and it's uh, it's like there are many things that uh, that's taken from a salary like the social insurance and the health insurance job uh, unemployment insurance uh, long-term care insurance as well as taxes so it will cut you can see the detail here uh, you can see everything like social serum it's a uh, um, social insurance frank and serum it's um, um uh, health insurance then there is uh, you can also translate it and see let's see here after we translate yes health insurance social insurance long-term insurance uh, pension insurance unemployment insurance and uh, the extra pension bbl so you can see how much it's taking so total deduction is 1070 euro if you earn 3101 euro you'll get 1070 euro less like 34.5 percent included everything so that's how much you are like how much the government is taking from you so the monthly gross is 3101 but you are getting 2031 euro for the tax year of 2025 and um, also around uh, after a few um, years uh, sorry few months you might also receive the inflation bonus uh, according to the inflation condition in the country so that's an annual thing you can see here the basic salary is 37,000 or uh, around and uh, special annual payment you are getting 1441 it's a Christmas bonus you will get around uh, it's kind of a 13 month salary um, and uh, so every average monthly salary is 3222 for you um, and uh, the net you are earning is 25,000 around. So total deduction is almost 35%. So that's how you can see. Um, you can see it's a very handy website. I'll keep that in the uh, link below. So you can also go through those and see how much percentage you are getting and how much you'll earn. You can see it. it's a very nice handy website. It's not only for PhD. You can find every job in the uh, civil service in germany so you can find everywhere so it's a very nice website where you can see everything like uh, very in detail it's a nice thing and also you can see here like how much level you are earning like first level second level because also the level will increase according to the year so you can see the slight increase okay let's look at the level one is 3101 in level two it's 32 37 27 so it's increasing with the level as well so that's nice you can see everything here in detail and this is a very a uh, nice website you can easy now you saw how much the phd student owns as a job so let's talk about the um, stipend how much a phd student on so the most famous or the most scholarship or the stipend awarded in germany is the dad scholarship for phd so let's see how much uh, a dad scholarship holder owns so the next uh, scholarship is from the dad stipend so it's a bit different than the normal PhD job you get here it's not a job it's a it's 
policy but already it's a grant you will receive so um, the difference you would not be um, taken as an employee so you'd be a scholarship holder or a student here and you can see all those um, um, details in this website where you can how can you apply as a doctoral researcher here so let's look at the salary or the stipend you'll get here so monthly payment is 1300 euros so you'll just get 1300 euros however your insurance and the um, accident and personal liability insurance is covered you'll get travel insurance like travel allowances so you can uh, get some like you'll get the flights to travel first and uh, return as well and you will also get a research allowance of 460 and um, you get some kind of monthly rent subsidy according to the um, um, city so you can find this information here so some cities are higher subsidy some cities are lower based on its uh, rental market so you also have some monthly allowances for family members so if you are accompanied by a um, partner then you are getting some um, more um, allowances or you are getting more stipend so in case of disability disability or the chronic illness you are also um, getting some kind of uh, you're covered so also you get some um, subsidy for the language courses and uh, for some also this so these are the benefit or the stipend or the salary you get from the data scholarship so now i'll share you my experience so i'm recruited as a research associate at uh, FAO. Um, i'd say for me it's uh, pretty enough um, no, I'm not, I can't save a lot uh, as a PhD student, but it is pretty enough and it also depends how much percentage uh, you are getting. So, especially in the life science field, you get around um, um, 65 to 75 percentage uh, uh, of the total state level salary of E13. So, for me, I get 67 percent, which is quite um, enough. Um, yeah, I can save something uh, also, but it also depends on the city. So, for instance, if I was um, living, if I was living in Munich, I couldn't have saved much. But I live in a medium city, uh, not that big as or the expensive as Munich. But I live in Nuremberg, Nuremberg where I pay less rent in compared to Munich, so I can save. So, rent, rent is a big part. Uh, of your um, expense and uh, grocery is pretty um, same in every part of Germany uh, so I would say if you prefer to have a PhD in a smaller city or inexpensive cities then that's pretty good benefit um, I'd say so for instance I get 67% um, of salary so which is um, brutal Brutto means something that salary you get before the tax. So I get around 1300 something, 3100 something per month. But uh, I think uh, my 1000 of the taxes and other insurance and everything got cut. So I get around 2100 something. So um, I get, uh, so almost my health insurance and everything is covered. So now I need to pay for my living uh, expense and also my groceries and stuff. Um, and also I get subsidized uh, Deutschland ticket or German ticket, which covers every train, local trains, other regional trains in Germany. So I get uh, subsidized. So it's uh, pretty cheap, around 38 or something I pay because I'm, I also can take the benefit of the student. And also, interestingly, I get uh, pretty cheap food in Menja where um, I can get the student car where I can load the money and I get the cheap food uh, for the daytime meal in Menja. So that's pretty nice. So that's also helped me to save um, money. So I would say like you can save pretty much for your vacation or traveling back to your home country. So I would say it's pretty enough. So. Um, I don't live uh, like for me I'm staying alone um, I have a 36 meter square of the apartment so it's pretty nice so I have okay 
uh, apartment as well so it's it's pretty nice and also i save some money so i think i would say that's pretty nice so i'd say you can save some money and at least i would say you can buy a uh, um like iphone 15 with a salary per like if you like you can save that much of the salary per month so i think that's that's uh fine uh that's that's pretty nice so also it depends on the person like how much you expense like how much is your expense so it depends but anyway um i think it's it's pretty nice um so i would pretty much um like you to subscribe my channel because if my channel grow i'd like to talk more about the research talk more about the psd and you could also get benefits so please like and subscribe my channel um for related videos um thank you